And here's the main objective. What if, instead of focusing on equitable, we focus on getting rid of some of the archaic policies, practices, and procedures that block our kids' access to the game to begin with? See, that was the hard conversation for us. You'll never believe what we found was our fence. Our fence looked like this, grading practices that no longer made sense. Giving kids two and a half hours of homework, even though the research said giving them more homework doesn't allow them to learn. We were pulling kids out for pull-out ELs, and they were missing essentials in math and reading. That made no sense. We had created a wall and didn't even know we had created a wall. Do we have image one, image two, or image three at our school? Think about your kids. Let me say it again. I'm not questioning that we have the right people who care about kids. What I'm questioning is this. Ready? I'm going to get deep with you. Maybe the system that we have was never meant for all kids to learn. Maybe our public school system was created for some kids to learn and some kids not to learn. I'm going to get even deeper with you. Ready? Here it comes. Maybe the reason we have an achievement gap is because our system was designed to produce one. What we've done as a society is that we've implemented race, immigrant status, and linguistic diversity as determinants that predict who will make it and who will not. 